couple days ago. Here I am driving this mud. So y'all wondering where the hell am I at? You know where first response is at? Yeah. Oh, so flat steel? Right over there? Okay. All right, thank you. Try this at home. It really wasn't that bad though. <laughs> but I did it. I tell you what, it would help if they had a sign out here or something. Good help. It's a forklift unload. Notice how they got the gaps in the metal. They usually don't have it like that. But I seen it on the bills, it said forklift unload. See those gaps? Just big enough for forks to get in. Yeah, this is the, this is the dump. You can smell it out here too. I'm about to fold this tarp up, roll up these straps, and I'm gonna sit in the truck and cool off. I'm supposed to be getting unloaded. But they've been talking for about 15 minutes. Come on, man. 
There you go. picking up this trailer. I was channeling my inner rock. Hey, y'all thought I was gonna show y'all some footage. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Ain't nothing to show, man, nothing to show, nothing to show. I gotta do is hook up the airlines. I already moved my dunnage. Two inch strap, holding it up there. No budgies. Two tarps up there. It's already looking. There's some more over there. If y'all wonder about how much freight PNS got, we got three more right there. Look at the back. Looking real pretty. Yeah. All I gotta do is hook up the airlines. Roll up the landing gear and we out, baby. We out. Hey, a lot of people always ask me, do they see me? If you see this flag, you know it's me. But if you look real closely, you'll see an apple. If you can see this apple from the other side of the highway, you got a good eye. So, all right, gang, I'm about to hook these airlines up so I can head on to the house, man. Catch y'all next week. Maybe we might do something different. My DM asked me if I wanted to, uh, had to make sure that one's tight. My DM asked me, two of these loads out here, two of them is going, two of them going to Ohio. I had one going to Cincinnati and one going to another part of Ohio, but I turned down those. I didn't want them. I got to go to Richmond. Uh, this load going to Richmond and I got to go to the terminal after I get empty because my brakes are starting to squeal. So I think my brakes are going bad. So I got to get those checked out Monday. So. I'll be at the terminal on Monday. All right, gang. Let me see how many straps I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine on this side. I seen some on the other side. I'm gonna move this over. Move that over. And hook it to the rub rail like that. Instead of letting it hang, you don't want it to come loose and get up in those tires. We got nine winches on this side. See how many we got over here. Oh man. That one's uh that one's already tight. It ain't going nowhere. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13. I got 13 winches on this trailer. That ain't too bad. If I didn't have none on this side, it ain't good to ride around with eight or nine winches. That ain't enough, because you never know what you're gonna get. I do gotta put an egg strap on the front and back. You see that Grayson Mitchell truck right there? That's all I gotta do. Egg strap front and back. Take this out, tighten it up on the rub rail, and we out. So let me go ahead and do all that, gang. I hit y'all back in the... Well, I ain't gonna hit y'all back, because it's weekend for me. But until next time, flatbed gang. <laughs>